autism it's a massive problem it's an epidemic um, all sorts of figures are rolled out from one in 50 kids to one in a hundred kids whichever it is it's an enormous number and all sorts of things have been fingered as a possible cause of it I mean people just said well you know it's just simply I don't really talk like that do they? you know it's really because they've, they've got better diagnostic skills and that's why they're um, discovering these cases and I just don't believe that for a minute I mean the other thing of course that has been mentioned is the gut problems caused by the MMR that was raised and, and shot down in flames but people are still looking for what is causing this epidemic and there's been quite an interesting insight uh, from uh, researchers over at Stanford who reckon it could well be to do with a zinc deficiency and um, for mothers who are whose babes are still in the pregnant women to um, should be uh, supplementing with zinc and they believe this would help the brain synapses of the of the growing baby to develop better and even when the baby is born they reckon it's not too late to start supplementing to just to get the the synapses working and connecting up um, and indeed they think that if uh, zinc levels can be raised sufficiently the very condition itself could be reversed so it really is very interesting. I mean, the problem is that no one's really researching this properly. And no one knows for sure. This is really, they think this is the case. They think it is a, a factor that explains the epidemic, but they don't really know because no one is really researching the use of vitamins, vitamins properly. And um, without that sort of research taking place, um, they can't be sure. But you know, what they need to do is to take a group of pregnant women, give them zinc supplements, see what the autism rate is like in, in the babes, similarly take another group of uh, infants, again supplement half, see what happens there. You know, once you know, once autism has been diagnosed, but you know, they said this is never going to happen because no one's paying for the research, so no one's going to investigate it. But it does seem to be something that you know you could start helping your kids with. Supple, give them supplements, zinc supplements anyway. If you are pregnant, start supplementing with zinc. Um, so yeah, there's a lot, uh, lot that you can do, I think, to help uh, stop the you know the risk of autism. Absolutely, Brian. And, you know, what people have to understand, you know, lots of people say, oh, you can get all of your, all of the things you need from your diet. Yeah. Well, these days you can't. Um, the soils are so depleted, even with organic food, yeah. it's really difficult, if not impossible, to get all the nutrients you need. And that's really the case with a number of minerals, chiefly two major minerals for us. Um, zinc and magnesium. Mm. Now, what these guys may have discovered, because you have to ask, well, how come all of a sudden we've got this explosion? And what I think they're doing is they have discovered an outcome of some onslaught. And the outcome of that onslaught is a deficiency of zinc. Not hard, because we all are somewhat deficient in zinc but why suddenly major deficiencies mm. in children yeah. and and causing this and this really may hark back to the gut issue mm. because one of the things that stops you from having enough zinc is absorption in your gut right and when we go back to those supposedly discredited studies of the MMR vaccine the one reason that Dr. Andrew Wakefield became interested in looking into this was because so many children, he, he is a gastroenterologist, and he was getting so many cases of children coming to him with gut problems who also had suddenly just developed autism. 